About 189 complaints have been raised to the State House Investors Protection Unit since its inception mid last year. The complaints were raised by domestic and foreign investors. The complaints range from what the traders termed as unfair taxation, high interest rates on loans from commercial banks, foreign investors and manufacturers' engagement in micro-businesses. Oh yes, yes, foreign investors have also raised over 60 complaints um, about fraud, uh, that is bribery, um, falsifying information, and also delaying decisions in government agencies where they lose money as they wait for decisions to be taken. According to Kano Edith Nakalema, the unit is head, they are engaging commercial banks to lower their interest rates, charged on loans acquired by domestic investors, and also being introduced to financial literacy. We are engaging with, with the, the concerned officials, they are being attended to, of course not yet sat to the extent of saying that everything is resolved, but we are engaging and coordinating with mandated agencies, Ministry of Finance, Bank of Uganda, Uganda Revenue Authority, we are working on, on that. There is also um, an issue of taxes by the National Bureau of Standards. We are also engaging with the, with the new leadership of National Bureau of Standards to ensure that uh, investors are uh, domestic investors are both protected, but they also have a duty to ensure that what they produce is on standard. Recently, the State House Investors Protection Unit launched an online portal where investors voice their complaints. The portal also has a catalogue of investment opportunities. Uh, this portal uh, provides uh, investors with up-to-date or adequate information that they need to know before they come either to invest in Uganda. Becca Senyonga Mulinde, ANTV, tonight.